Hey, what's up guys? This is J-Rod. Just wanted to make a video on why firearms can be a good investment. And there's many reasons why it could be a good investment. And uh, we all know that, uh, you know, with uniqueness comes, um, you know, originality, different uh, firearms, maybe because of age. Maybe because of uh, it's rare to find. Um, it all depends. It all depends. As I have over here is a uh, a Saiga Sussex about thirty nine K forty seven fully converted. And um, with this rifle right here, I basically want to hold on to it, even though, even though. There's many uh, AK manufacturers that's uh, actually making AKs available in the United States. But what's so special about this uh, AK-47 right here is that it's made by Ishmash in Russia. And uh, Obama, a while back last year, he uh, basically banned the importation of uh, goods from Russia. And one of the companies that was banned from basically, um, you know, putting in, you know, importations into the country uh, was Ishmash. Now you have uh, Kalashnikov USA that's uh, actually going to produce AK-47s. You have Century Arms getting their act together and producing better AK-47s, American-made AK-47s. And um, there you go. But I'm still going to hold on to this. Um, maybe if Sayagas become less and less available in circulation, you never know. This could be a, a hot item in the future. You never know. Other than that, um, we're over here. I have a, uh, a AR-15, shoots 5.56223. This is my build, um, Palmetto State Armory. And um, this AR right here, if I was to sell it, it would not be worth anything. I mean, there's so many ARs in the market. You can buy AR-15 parts. It's uh, widely available right now. And to be honest with you, um, if I do, if I was to sell this, I'll probably sell this for a couple hundred. Wouldn't get too much in the pocket. Colt. Colt 6920. Usually has a good resale value. But um, to be honest with you, whether it's a Palmetto State Armory build or uh, a Colt 6920, especially a Colt 6920, um... I probably would have a better resale value on this AR than this build. But um, at the same time, you know, it has different parts. Look at the grip. It has a Magpul grip on it. Um, different little parts. Inside of this rifle, it has a nickel boron bow carrier group. This one just has a regular M16 bow carrier group. And to be quite honest, um... You know, if, if a situation was to happen, such as Sandy Hook, um, you know, a lot of guys have been buying um, a couple of ARs and uh, basically set them for double or triple the price of what it's originally worth. And um, they've been basically raping the market every time there was a crisis, such as Sandy Hook. Um, no, another hot commodity is ammunition and magazines. You need gasoline in your car to drive your car. A gun needs bullets. And uh, a lot of people have been stocking up on certain ammunition, um, especially during Sandy Hook. And also the recent M855 ban. A lot of people have been uh, stocking up on ammo and there's been a scare again and a whole bunch of people have been buying up the uh, MA55 ammo on the 5.56. And, um, you know, there's also been people that's been selling 
um, you know, ammunition for double, triple the price. Go on cheaper than dirt. You try to buy M855 ammo, and uh, let's say you're trying to buy a thousand rounds of that stuff. You're you're probably gonna spend as much as it is to get a uh, a uh, probably a, a handgun or probably as much as it costs to get something. You know, like a rifle that costs about 500 bucks or so. It depends um, on quantity and how much it costs, but I know the prices are up. And, um, you know, it all depends. Um, during any scare, any ban, any mention of a ban, um, there's always, uh, you know, there's always people buying certain items and uh, reselling them for more, such as magazines. Uh, air magazines. Well, let's say your state wants to go ahead and put a ban on, uh, you know, on, uh, let's say they want to limit the capacity. Forget the ban. Let's say they want to limit the capacity of about 10 rounds and your state was a 30 round, you know, magazine state. They didn't have no restrictions at all. Uh, you'll see a lot of guys stocking up on 30 round magazines and selling them for more. Because of the fact. So, um, you know, it's something to think about. Definitely something to invest in. Um, you never know when you might need that emergency money or whatever. But, you know, at the same time, I really despise those that try to make a profit off of the situation. And, uh, you know, if there's, if there's those guys out there that are selling ammo for double or triple the price of the amount. Don't buy from them. I mean, shit, at least go ahead and start stacking up every paycheck. Um, at least buy a box of ammo. Um, you know, if you ever get extra money, try to buy, you know, in bulk. Um, that way you won't have to worry about it ever again. You won't be desperate to buy from those guys that are basically ripping you off in price. And, um, you know, that's about it. That's, 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 um... You know how it goes. Uh, you pass down, you know, you pass this down generation to generation. What if they stop making the AR-15? What if they go to a new rifle? You know, you never know what's going to happen in the future. So, I say, um, you know, I, I think the most important thing is buying magazines and ammo. And uh, stocking up on those two um, accessories. Especially ammo. Ammo is like the gas to your car. Without ammo, um, you can't shoot your damn gun. Basically, your gun is, be, is gonna be a nice uh, piece of steel or, or polymer to hit somebody over the head with, <laughs> you know? But, uh, you know, truth be told, um, definitely gotta be prepared. Definitely gotta, um, you know, if you don't make that much money, at least buy a box of ammo. Um, if you don't make that much money, especially, uh, try not to, uh, try not to have too many calibers. Um, as for me, these two rifles over here shoot 5.56223. Five, the AK up there is 7.62x39. My Glock 19 shoots 9mm. So that's about 3 or 4 calibers. Give and take, I could go ahead and shoot 556 five, or 223 through both of these rifles. It doesn't matter. So I could stock up on either or. I have a, a flexibility right there. 762 by 39, 9mm. Let's say three calibers. Um I want to go ahead and limit myself to that. If I buy another handgun, I probably want it more more uh, subcompact or whatnot. And um, basically uh, use the 9mm so it, it, it all varies you know what I mean um, yes you can make money off of firearms and um, especially if it's unique if it's rare if it's custom made that you know if it's something that nobody else has out there that makes it very unique you could possibly make money out of so it all depends um, if it's a good condition World War II rifle or something or um, something that's just rare, unique, I think you can make money off of.
Can you go ahead and make an investment off of firearms? I believe so, yes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely like, subscribe, and um, take care. God bless. And I'm out.